can actually see when you look at this here. The side skin, that's just the age of the material. Mm -hmm. So the, the light blue color is obviously um, fresh melt. Which is interesting as you watch these end gates as they fill. The light blue on the bottom half there is basically where the majority of your filling comes in because it's a tilt pour part. I don't know if it's yep. one of the parts out there. It is actually. So what you can see is when the different end gates actually become active mm -hmm. with different metal. Mm -hmm. So you can see basically as it continues to tilt, obviously these are the main uh, end gates that are active that fill the majority half of the bottom section of the casting. Then as it continues to tilt, it starts to switch. Mm -hmm. It starts to switch and come up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, maybe those two end gates you can maybe actually remove. You're but correct. So something like that, but that's something as far as like what Jason would go through with one of the designers and talk about that as far as what the results mean and how it, you know, what we're learning from it and what we can use it for. In, uh, in the last stage of this particular simulation, actually Steve's assessment is uh, correct. I made the same comment. Those gates really aren't necessary. Um, the, these two aren't really required. This one does help because it backfills these risers. But the other thing that we saw, and we kind of recognize, well, you could recognize it at the time, is that these get a lot of flow. You can even see it just in the tracer particles. We actually ended up with um, a lot of heat and shrink in these three gates. So, particularly this one, where you get all of this extra metal. I think this is a great, again, this whole concept here as far as this tech center is great because when you sit with these designers, when you sit with these purchasing people, you know, you can show them that, hey, this is what we can experience and this is why we're going to make the, the changes. I mean, even though you cut off a couple of those end gates, depending on the volume that you're actually producing, those are parts, you know, yield improvement, you don't have to melt that metal. Mm -hmm. It reduces Premier's cost and it overall reduces the part cost. Mm -hmm. so. One other thing that's somewhat nice, if you have a cosmetic part, the, uh, the flow lines that you see, those are actually a pretty good visual representation of the oxide trails you see on the part. And so when you look at visually at the part, you'll see some of that swirling that moves along that nature, along that base of that part. Primarily right when it gets down in here, it comes up the middle of that, that sweep, you can see that. That's the interesting part is when you go out and look on the casting and you see mm -hmm. the same thing.